The cases that we investigate and prosecute are complex. This is the first international tribunal that has been given responsibility to investigate and prosecute terrorist attacks. They're complex for a number of reasons, uh, including the fact that they are well-organized and well-planned attacks. They were planned long in advance, for example, in the Hariri case, um, were carried out with a certain amount of sophistication and precision. But it's not only that the attacks were well-planned, it's that there were well-planned efforts made to hide and conceal the preparation, the perpetration, and the identities of the perpetrators. Investigating such organized and sophisticated criminal activity requires specialized skill, knowledge, and experience. Uh, if you look at the evidence that's been called in the Hurry trial, you'll see the highly technical or complex nature of the evidence. For example, in presenting a picture of the forensics part of the case, the actual crime site, you will see that there was evidence related to the calculation of the nature and magnitude of the explosive material, how it was transported, its particular placement in a location, and the timing and detonation of that explosive. You will also see or be aware of the scientific evidence that was called that related to the human remains and the DNA and analysis to identify the human remains at the scene. You could also look at the telecommunications evidence that's being called. The telecommunications evidence, though complex, actually sets out a pattern of activity that allows us to identify a network of phones, those phones that are used over time to observe, then carry out the surveillance, and ultimately on the day of the assassination, carry out the assassination. And the persons holding those phones are the operatives that we're attempting to investigate. 